All right, Cherubs, right now we're looking at the Lunité d'Habitation, designed by the architect Le Corbusier, located in Marseille, France. It is a public housing project opened in 1952, containing 337 apartments and intended to house up to 1,600 people. The building used a series of repeating modules which contributed to criticisms claiming living in it would cause insanity, and it was popularly referred to as the House of the Crazies. So let's give the building some context. German forces occupied Marseille in 1942, and the head of the French Gestapo called Marseille the cancer of Europe, and claimed that it needed to be cleansed. As a result, hundreds of people were rounded up and many of the buildings destroyed, save for some historically significant structures. Because of the Nazi destruction of the city, close to 20,000 people were left without homes after World War II, creating a dire need for public housing. Around that same time, Le Corbusier was refining ideas about the ideal mathematical proportions to be used in architecture. He lamented that the metric system had abandoned the human body as a source for measurement. The Egyptian cubit, for example, or the Roman foot and inch, had all used the human body as the basis for their length. Architects, at least dating back to the Roman Vitruvius, had used the golden ratio to explain ideal human proportions, a concept many of you may recognize from Leonardo da Vinci's Vitruvian Man. Consequently, Le Corbusier sought to reacquaint measurement, architecture, and proportion with the human body. In doing so, he created this guy, a 182 centimeter or 6 foot tall man with an arm reaching over his head. He divided this man according to the golden ratio. By dividing 182 by the golden ratio, phi, roughly 1.618, he arrived at 113 centimeters, the height of the navel. The man's outstretched arm reaches to a height of 226 centimeters, exactly double the height of the navel. From there, Corbusier continued to break down the body into segments corresponding to the golden ratio for both heights, the man and the man with his outstretched arm. This gave him lots of numbers to work with. These numbers were used in the creation of this building. Now don't try to apply those proportions to the shape of the building that runs 165 meters long and 56 meters high. I tried that. It didn't work. Corbusier applied these numbers to the actual living spaces. Each apartment has two floors with various rooms, and one large family room. The height of the ceilings in the smaller rooms is 226 centimeters, while the height of the large room is exactly double that, which leads to the height of the large windows visible from the exterior. How cool is this? After a war that devalued humans, Le Corbusier designed a structure linked to human proportions, a machine for living in, he called it. Every apartment has a balcony that overlooks the beautiful city. It even stands on legs called pilatus. The rough cast concrete gives the building its equivalent of wrinkles, or the scars of its construction. Proportion and architecture were once again linked to the human form. The building includes amenities for basic living as well. Shops, a gymnasium, daycare, a small hotel, and an elementary school. And all this resting on top of a park. The rooftop, now home to a curated space, also includes a reflecting kiddie pool and a running track. This building has become one of the most influential structures in the world and is now pending designation as a World Heritage Site by UNESCO. And, as far as I can tell, no one's gone crazy from living in it yet. If you like the way we discussed art on this channel, please consider subscribing. 